What's up YouTube Franchise 2 Sports back again with another video. I know I'm late because of this, but before I get into what I talk about, uh like, share, subscribe. I also like to thank my new um subscribers out there, new visitors to the channel. It's so gained a lot in the last few days. So I'd like to thank you all for hopping on and subscribing. Alright, let's get into this. I don't want to spend too much time. Now, I'm kind of on the late show because the last few days have been kind of under the weather and busy too. But I don't know what's going on between Gilbert Arenas and Jason Williams. It's like they're trying to be the best clown or comedian duo. I don't know what's going on. But uh, recently, if you haven't heard by now, Jason Williams said that Jordan, Michael Jordan, the GOAT, will have a tough time trying to play in today's modern league. I don't know what it is with Jason Williams when it comes to Jordan. He's been uh, ragging on Jordan for the last couple of months. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's getting paid by, I'm sure I'm going to trigger some people with this one. I don't know if he's getting paid by Stooges or LeBron. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's drinking before he says this. I don't know. But some of the stuff he's been saying lately has just been crazy. But um, I'm paraphrasing what he said. He said that Jordan will have a tough time going against a team like the Milwaukee Bucks with Robin Lopez down low and Giannis down low. But also getting past Drew Holiday. Now, for some of you guys who are new here, and if you haven't realized it yet, I am a Bucks fan. And even myself thinking thinking that's outlandish. Like, Drew Holiday is a good defensive point guard. Don't get me wrong, defensive guard. Don't get me wrong. He made uh, people struggle during a um, championship run. This year, this past year, not so much. I don't know if it's a fatigue or what. But if Gary Payton, Gary Payton at times, at times had a tough time trying to hold Jordan. And Gary Payton is considered to be one of the best defensive players, not the defensive, best defensive guards of old time. Won a defensive player of the year award too. I'm not saying Drew Holiday He's not good on defense because he hasn't won a Defensive Player of the Year award. He should have won one by now. With plenty of other superstars backing him that he should have won it. He probably should have won it the regular season-wise this year. Or even last year. But they gave it to Marcus Smart. And I think they gave it to Rudy Gobert the year before that. But let's pump the bricks. With all the rule changes. No more hand checking. Three point. I mean. Three in the paint. Three second violation. All this new rules that they brought in now since Jordan retired. They made offense easier now. How in the world would Jordan struggle? If people like DeMar DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, people like that can score from mid-range the way they do. Jordan would have a tough time. The only thing that Jordan would have a tough time is trying to stop him his own self from scoring because it would be getting too easy. The man would almost average 45 points a game. A prime Jordan. And before you can say the old Jordan, old Jordan was still putting up numbers on no knees at 39 years old. In the NBA that he came into in 2001, 2002, 2002, 2003, that era. And that was supposed to be the toughest. I don't think people realize Jordan played in the toughest, one of the toughest eras in the late 80s and 90s. When there weren't foul calls every five seconds. I'm just saying, some of the stuff that comes out of people's mouth is egregious sometimes. I don't get it. I don't know if they do it to get shine, some clout on YouTube or what. But yeah, Jordan struggle struggling in this age of today. Sure. Yeah. 
He'll struggle, all right.